In this episode, I will show you how you can add Babel to your Node.js project. With Babel, you can use the latest JavaScript features even on an older Node version. It can be also used to change fancy frontend files like Vue or JSX to JavaScript, operation required to perform server-side rendering. I will cover server-side rendering in the next episode, but now let's add TypeScript support to the example Express Server. This will give you a better understanding of how Babel works and how you can incorporate it in your development pipeline. If you prefer reading instead of watching, the entire script for this cast will be available on our blog. I will paste a link to it in the comments below. Ok, this server is a copy of the example application from Express page and we will bubbleize it. First, let's create a Babel configuration file. Babel uses two types of configuration files. Project-wide configuration files, it means one config for an entire project. Or file-relative configuration files. This works similar to gitignore. It controls the folder in which it is placed. We will use the second option, so let's create .babelrc file in our example application. Babel works based on plugins. You have plugins which convert arrow functions, spread syntax, etc. to the given environment. But to simplify things, Babel gathers related plugins into a preset. The most popular preset is an env preset. It contains all the features from the latest ECMAScript standard. Along with the preset, you can pass some options. So let's define that Babel should transpile code to Node version 4. In order to do that, we have to wrap the preset into an array and as a second element pass the JSON object with targets property. Now let's add three dev dependencies to our project. Babel core, Babel register and Babel preset env. We are almost done. Now let's require Babel register on top of our entry index file. This package goes that all consecutive require statements will be transpiled by Babel. Finally, let's move the code to a source directory to a new file. Let's name it app.js. Require it in index file. Now change require statements to import statements. Let's see if it works. Run the server. Ok, it started. So now let's visit the page. Perfect, it works. Now we can add TypeScript support. We have to install another preset. Babel preset TypeScript. And update Babel RC. By default, Babel doesn't parse files with extensions TS, so we have to change our Babel register call. It is worth mentioning that we cannot specify extensions in Babel RC. Ok, let's rename our file to TS. Now we can create a TypeScript class to see if it works. Create a new file. Name it app controller.ts. I will paste code here. It will be super simple. Just a constructor with one method. Update the original Express server to use this controller. Change the handler function. Let's create HTML variable and now initialize the controller and perform index action. Update send method and add async. Ok, now we are ready to try out the app.
and there is an error. It is related to the async await statements which we used in the class. To handle them, we have to add yet another plugin called transform runtime. It has two dependencies. One, the plugin itself, which should be installed as a dev dependency. Next, there is Pable Runtime, installed as a regular dependency. And now we have to update Pable RC with plugins section. Now we can rerun the app. Everything seems to be working, but check it out on the browser side. Ok, we see a slightly different message. So it works. Now let's discuss how to run the application in production. Obviously, we cannot use Babel register because our app will be slower and will occupy more memory. So let's enable it only if certain end variable is set. Otherwise, let's import files from the lib folder instead of source. Now let's create the lib folder. We have to add a couple of scripts to the package.json file. First, let's add dev command which will run the server in the dev environment. We use the n variable we defined before. I change node to no daemon, this will cause automatic reload of the app when code is updated. Next comes a regular start script. And finally the build command which will convert all the files placed in source and put them into the lib directory. We specify that we copy all the files, even if they are not just TypeScript files, which will be handy when we will add some static assets and we transpile extensions for both TypeScript and JavaScript, the same as we did in Babel register. We have to add an another dependency, Babel CLI. Ok, let's test the environment first. It works. So let's test production. It doesn't work. That was expected. We don't have any files there. So let's build it first and rerun it. And now it works. Let's see our transpiled files. Crazy, but it works with Node version 4. Usually you might want to add lib folder to gitignore and build the app in continuous integration pipeline. There is one crucial thing regarding TypeScript with Babel. Namely, Babel only transpiles the files, it does not check types. For types checking you have to use TypeScript command with tsconfig separately. So let's add an example TypeScript config file. Where we define no emit to true which prevents TypeScript from generating any files, just the type checking. You can check out the other options in TypeScript documentation. Finally, let's add types command. And add TypeScript to our project. Run types command. It works. Now we might want to fix all the errors, but I won't bore you with that. Ok, this is everything for now. I've just shown you how you can add Babel to your Node.js project. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, subscribe to the channel and see you next week.